Hello, here I am at Rye Bridge. It's day two of our Beaudley Mountaineering Club trip to Scotland and some of us are taking a bike ride. Uh, we're getting the train, we're going to a place called Clarour and we're going to cycle back. It's going to be myself, Graham and Louise. Now left the platform, we do a 360. We've taken the left hand track um, around Lake Ossian. So you can see the Scots Pines and maybe just make out the Youth Hostel building. So we've got Graham and Louise leading the way. They're on their two mountain bikes and I'm on a flat tyre. View of the river and an outbuilding. We're actually on the Hotland 550 Trail, which also doubles as I believe it's the Great Western Trail, or is a, a few trails using the, the same bits of track that go to various destinations. If you know what they are, uh, please leave a comment. So we've just stopped at the top of the incline with the side of, hopefully I've pronounced it right, Loch Gwilby. If we pan round, you may be just able to make the track that we've come down to the left of that uh, lump there. Let's pan round a bit more. We've come up this uh, long incline. We're still on the uh, Highland 550 and we're heading towards the forest in this direction. So we just stopped for lunch and we're just setting off and just in front you can see Binan Shuas and that's 747 metres I believe and you've got the north top which is 707 metres off memory. Um, please comment if I'm, uh, I've got those heights wrong.
there's the ridge that we went up yesterday and the Munro which I'll put at the top of the video what that name is I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it and obviously when we come back down we followed that track back to the car park over in that direction we're now just te checking our route back we are heading towards Rye Bridge we've come from Carole Station which is saying it's 12 miles when we found the point where we're going to cross and we're going to let Graham go first It's a little bit wet, no need to have rolled the trousers up, so yeah, all good. So now we've just got to um, travel down the river a short way. This is not actually uh, a cycle track, it is a footpath, hence walking the bikes. But we're actually looking for the footbridge now. Uh, turns out we're just slightly off track, we've got a couple of farm ruins, shepherd's ruins you just need to be a little bit higher up and we should pick up a, a track that hopefully will be easier to cycle on so we've finally got to the bridge 
uh, not going to ride across it as maybe you can see it's starting to bounce certainly in the middle this is the homeward stretch now to Rye Bridge we're probably looking at a couple of kilometres mile, mile and a half, something like that and hopefully we've got a little bit of an incline here which will be all downhill there's the sign for Rye Bridge So we've just got back to the chalet and Louise has looked at a Strava app on her phone and that journey that we've done is 43 kilometres. What that is in old money, I don't know. We'll have to work that one out.